So the first thing I want to look at is just kind of a brief introduction to the idea of coordinates and where they came from. Particularly those of us that might have done some of the Lean Start curriculum already, those of you that aren't starting from scratch with this course, you might have heard um, coordinates referred to as Cartesian coordinates. Okay? And I'm just going to give you a bit of background as to where that might have come from. So first of all, this here, th there was a French mathematician who was chronically ill for a long time with lung issues. And what he spent the most of his time was lying in bed looking up the ceiling. And this is what he saw. And one day, yes, I know this sounds a bit like a fairy tale, but one day there was a fly. And it was on these tiles in the ceiling. And he wanted to think, how could I precisely explain where that fly is? How could I give an exact position? Well, what he thought was, there's the general picture where the fly is. So what I'll do here is, I know where that fly is. And these boxes, I should be able to do something with those boxes. So what he said was, I'll come up with something to measure away from. So a line that I can measure away from. And the first one he came up with is what we now call the x-axis. And in this case, what that is, is basically a line that runs across the boxes like this. And it allows him to count how many boxes away from that line that fly is. So as you can see here, it's on the intersection here. So it's one, two lines away. So, but anywhere along this line could be two boxes away. So we need then another line to tell me how far left and right it is. So I know how high it is. I need to know how far left and right it is. So again, I bring in something else that we call the y-axis. And an easy way to remember that is the phrase y is up, which can be rephrased as y is up. Because some people get confused with the axis. So the y-axis is simply just a straight line going up that we measure away from. So this fly's position is this exact point here. So we can say that, well, it's two away from here. So it's two up and it's two across. Okay, so our coordinates that we call two, two. Right, this is our x and this is our y. And that's basically where it came from. The name of this mathematician was René Descartes. And again, excuse my pronunciation if it's off, but in honor of him, the second half of his surname, the Descartes bit, is where the Cartesian name comes from for Cartesian coordinates. And Cartesian coordinates are X and Y. Where we'll come across coordinates that are not Cartesian is when we do complex numbers. And they're called polar coordinates. But not to worry about those. Okay, so, again, just a quick glimpse into the applications of some of this stuff. Your Google Maps um, calculates distance based on a lot of these formula. Um, does then from the distance, it works out time and it works out traffic and things like this. And also those of you that are into GAA, the new Hawkeye software, well not relatively new Hawkeye software, works on the same idea by calculating points of intersection between curves and lines. And to see that does this, the ball's trajectory, that line that it represents, does that cross over another line, i.e. the posts, or does it cross over a plane, i.e. between the posts? Okay? So let's get straight into it.